Welcome to another lesson in my free six-day mini course. Today we're going to talk about how to find the right web host and register your domain. Now before we begin, I just wanted to review some of the philosophies I have for this mini course. Common question I always get asked is why not just open an eBay, Etsy, or Amazon store? And the way I always respond is I respond with a question. Would you ever place your future and your destiny in the hands of someone else who actually does not share your best interests? Now, eBay, Etsy, and Amazon, their primary concern is catering to their stockholders. And if you look at eBay, they've been raising prices year after year. They already charge upwards of 11 to 15% of your revenues. And they often change their rules, and at any time you could get banned. I've heard stories about people who sold on Amazon and eBay, had their account banned, and they instantly lost all of their revenues. And you absolutely do not want that to happen to you. Now, I just wanted to make a slight note that's not to say that you should not sell on these platforms, but you should be building your own branded site as your main foundation for your business. Now, with that in mind, I thought I'd talk a little bit about registering your domain. Now, if you're new to the web, your domain is the address that is typed into the browser to actually find your website. And one of the common questions I get asked is, what sort of domain suffix should I use? Should I get a .com, a .org, or a .net? And the way I always respond is, ultimately, the domain does not matter in the grand scheme of things. But if you have to choose, I would absolutely get the .com. And the reason is, is because when people type in web addresses into their browser, they typically almost always end the address with a .com. So for those customers out there who are typing your URL into their web browser, it always pays to get the .com because people tend to type in .com at the end of all their URLs. Now here's just a couple of domain tips when you're deciding on the name to give your website. Always make sure that you do research on the competition. And the reason why I say this is you generally don't want to pick a domain that kind of very closely resembles your competitor. Uh, for example, I once had a reader who emailed me saying they registered a particular domain and it turns out their prime competitor had the exact same domain pluralized with an S on the end. And as a result, you know, people would get mixed up with these domains all the time and it's very hard to, to kind of stand out when your domain so closely resembles that of your competitor. You also want to check the US PTO office to make sure that your domain is not trademarked. I had a buddy once who accidentally trademarked a name into their domain and what ended up happening is that company that owned the trademark later contacted him once he already had an established business and he was forced to change his domain name. I also advise that you don't use hyphens or punctuation in your domain. It's hard enough for someone to remember your domain as is. It's even harder for them to remember where to put punctuation marks in the domain. I would also avoid long domain names. A typical domain name with two or three syllables works best. Anything longer than that will tend to be harder to remember. And along those same lines, never choose a domain that's something that's really hard to spell. And in general, you're going to want to use your keywords and your products in your domain name if you can, but I would definitely not go overboard with it. Okay, and so once you've decided on the domain for your website, next step is to choose your web host. Now, a web host is the computer that your website runs on, and typically it's a server that's managed by a third-party company. Now, when you're first starting out, you absolutely do not need a powerful host because you're not going to get that much traffic early on and as a result you can choose a provider that starts very simply and has a seamless upgrade path to more power for when your website gets more traffic later on. Now here's how I pick a provider and what's really difficult about picking a web host is that there's lots of fake web host reviews out there they promise unlimited everything they all kind of blend together and it's hard to tell one apart from the other and unfortunately, the only real way to tell whether a web host is good or bad is to actually sign up and use one. But I would advise that you do not go cheap here and definitely never ever use a free website provider. Cheap hosts or free hosts will often provide very poor reliability or slow performance or they'll just completely skip on support. If you have a problem, they'll make you wait like a week before they answer you. Now, 
The web host that I used when I first started out with our online store was Bluehost, and I actually ran my store on Bluehost for two years before we upgraded to dedicated hosting. Now, for the readers of my blog, I've actually negotiated a 41% discount on Bluehost if you use the link on my blog. So if you go over to mywifequitterjob.com and you scroll down and you click here, you'll actually get 41% off of web hosting. So that's all I had about how to pick a domain name and how to choose the right web host. In a subsequent lesson, I'm going to show you all the different shopping cart platforms that are available and help you choose the platform that best matches your personality and your situation. And I'll also show you a very step-by-step -step video on how to install and launch your website using open source software. Okay, and once again, all of this material that I'm presenting here is a very high-level introduction and a very small taste of one of the many modules that I offer in my full-blown course on how to create a profitable online store. So if you want to learn how to run an online business in much greater depth, then I encourage you to check it out at www.profitableonlinestore.com. Here are a couple of things I cover in that class. I cover how to find and research a profitable niche to sell into. I teach you everything that you need to know to set up a fully featured online store without any technical knowledge and without spending a lot of money. I show you how to source your products and pay the lowest prices possible for your goods, how to drive large amounts of targeted traffic to your website without spending a lot of money, and I teach you some of the fundamental web design principles to create a high converting online store website without having to hire a programmer. So once again, for more information, please go to www.profitableonlinestore.com. And once again, you got a lot more lessons coming, and so stay tuned for the next one.